Dear students, I am Khandrakar Fazlar Abbi, lecturer, Milestone College, Uttara, Dhaka. Dear students, today we discuss about some creative question from chemistry second paper, chapter one, environmental chemistry. Now, we are given CQ number one, PV versus P car given this line is for ideal gas and this line is for M gas and M gas is produced by decomposition of limestone. So what is M gas? Calcium carbonate this is limestone by decomposition of calcium carbonate we get calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. This one is gas, it's solid. So, uh, in this term, given M gas, that is carbon dioxide. Our first question, in this term, M gas does not behave like an ideal behavior. We know that there are two causes of deviation of real gases from ideal nature. That means there are there are two causes of deviation of real gases. from ideal matter and these two cars is first one volume volume defect and second one is Pressure defect. Pressure defect. Now, what is volume defect? According to kinetic gas theory, the volume of gas molecules is negligible compared to the volume of the container. But Practically, it is not true because at low temperature and high pressure, gases can liquefy and solidify. These liquids and solids have certain volume which is not negligible. Therefore, the gas equation that is PV equal to NRT deduced for the real gases omitting their own volume and that cannot obey by they in the equation if the volume of the ideal gas is v in this equation the volume of ideal gas is v then the volume of the real gas will be v minus nb where b is van der waals constant in number of molecules and nb volume of total molecules this is volume defect now what is pressure defect according to kinetic gas theory gas molecules have no intermolecular attraction but it is not true because after increasing pressure and uh, decreasing temperature the gaseous molecules change into liquid due to intermolecular attraction force therefore the gas equation that means ideal gas equation pv equal to nrt deduced for real gas by omitting their intermolecular force and this uh, for real gas it cannot be obeyed that means real gas cannot obey this equation the value of this 
intermolecular attraction is n square a divided by v square and for that reason for real gas the pressure would be p plus n square a divided by v square because of the above two reasons that means uh, pressure defect and uh, volume defect real gases cannot follow the equation of ideal gas that means real gas cannot follow p plus n square a uh, sorry p plus uh, p v equal to nrt and so the real uh, uh, equation for real gas is p plus n square a divided by v square into v minus n b equal to n r t and uh, this equation is known as van der van der waals equation this equation is known as van der waals equation now our question is question number d in which condition m gas does behave like ideal gas answer at uh, very low pressure and high temperature m gas behaves like ideal gas there are two condition first one is at very low pressure and second one is higher temperature at very low pressure gas occupies higher volume as a result the distance uh, between molecules is higher the intermolecular force among the molecules is very insignificant and this gives the, uh, the lower value of A and higher value of V. That's why A by V square uh, is very small and that's why with respect to P, A by V square can be ignored and uh, with respect to V, B can be ignored so at very low pressure p plus a by v square is approximately p and v minus b is approximately v under this condition the van der waals equation which is p plus a by v square v minus b equal to rt which is for real gas becomes pv equal to rt which is for ideal gas so we can say that at high pressure uh, m gas does behave like ideal gas the second condition is at high temperature at high temperature the gas occupies higher volume at high temperature the kinetic energy of molecules is so high that it can easily overcome the intermolecular force of attraction as a result at high temperature with respect to v the value of b is also negligible so at higher temperature p plus a by v square is approximately p and volume v minus b is approximately v and under this condition the van der waals equation p plus a by v square into v minus b equal to rt takes the form pv equal to rt so at high temperature uh, real gases behave like ideal gases and we can say that at high temperature and low pressure m gas behaves like ideal gas there is students now cq number two you are given pv versus p curve PV versus P curve at 0 degree centigrade temperature 0 degree centigrade temperature for one mole gas first one is determine the RMS velocity of a gas 
uh, here given a gas is main gas of greenhouse that means a gas is carbon dioxide and uh, given b is lightest gas uh, we know that uh, the most lighter gas at atmosphere in atmosphere that is hydrogen so b gas is hydrogen and a gas is carbon dioxide so our first question determine the rms velocity of a gas so uh, c we know we get c that means rms velocity c equal to 3 rt by m here molecular mass molecular mass of a gas m equal to 44 because the molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 44 temperature temperature t equal to 0 degree centigrade that means uh, 273 kelvin and uh, molar gas constant r equal to 8.314 into 10 to the power 7 r kelvin inverse 1 mole inverse 1 here we use cgs unit because molecular mass we get from cgs unit 44 gram uh, now 3 into 8.214 into 10 to the power 7 into 273 divided by 44 that is 393.39 centimeter per second that is 393.39 meter per second this is the rms velocity of a gas question number two discuss mathematically the deviation of a and b gas from ideal behavior in this term here given uh, this line is for ideal gas uh, this one is for b gas b gas is lightest gas so b gas is hydrogen and uh, a gas is carbon dioxide because uh, carbon dioxide is main gas of uh, greenhouse here given some pv value for uh, b gas uh, given 26 for a gas 18 and for ideal gas this value is 22.4 and uh, now to discuss uh, about uh, the deviation of a and b gas we have to calculate the compressibility factor of a b and uh, ideal gas now first for a gas compressibility factor z equal to pv by nrt here pv unit is liter atmosphere and uh, for a gas the value is 18 that means PV equal to 18 uh, temperature T equal to 0 degree centigrade that means 273 Kelvin uh, R equals to uh, here PV unit is liter atmosphere that's why we use uh, liter atmosphere unit that is 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere Kelvin inverse 1 mole inverse one and uh, n equal to one mole one mole because here given for one mole gas so 18 
1 into 0 0.0821 into 273 equal to 0 0.8 Zero 03 this is the value of compressibility factor of a gas and now for b gas factor Z equal to PV by NRT value of PV equal to 26 T equal to 0 degree centigrade 273 Kelvin N equal to 1 mole and R equal to 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere Kelvin inverse 1 mole inverse 1 mole inverse 1 so we get z equal to 26 divided by 1 into 0 0.0821 into 273 that is 1.16 1.16 and for ideal gas ideal gas compressibility factor factor z equal to um, pv by rt that nrt here pv equal to 22.4 Uh, T equal to 273 Kelvin R equal to 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere Kelvin inverse 1 mole inverse 1 and N equal to 1 mole mm, 22.4 1 into 0 0.0821 into temperature 273 that is 0 0.999 uh, which is approximately 1 so we get the compressibility factor of ideal gas is 1 uh, in case of uh, now in case of uh, a gas the value of uh, compressibility factor is uh, less than one less than one uh, that is why it is real gas this one is real gas because for ideal gas this uh, the factors value is uh, one and the deviation is uh, negative uh, for a gas the deviation is negative and for b gas compressibility factors value is 1.16 value this is uh, higher than the ideal gas value and uh, the deviation is uh, this one is also real gas real gas and deviation is positive positive deviation and negative uh, deviation Now we discuss about uh, what is conjugate acid and uh, conjugate base. At first, what is conjugate acid? When a base except a proton, an acid is formed, which is uh, known as uh, the conjugate acid of that base. And uh, conjugate base, uh, when an acid give up a proton, a base is formed 
which is known as the conjugate base of that is C. For example, uh, we see that here ACL plus ammonia reacts and uh, here form ammonium ion and chloride ion. At first, ACL give a proton and it form uh, chloride ion. That's why uh, ACL is acid. On the other hand, in backward reaction, chloride ion can excite proton. So, this one is conjugate base of ACL. And uh, in case of ammonia, ammonia except one proton from ACL and ammonia except proton, that's why ammonia is base and uh, this base uh, produce acid. That means uh, ammonia except one proton and it produces ammonium ion which can give up proton. That's why when ammonium ion give up proton, that, uh, then it is acid and ammonium ion is the conjugate acid of ammonia. Now the question is, what do you understand by BOD of water is 5 ppm? The BOD means biochemical oxygen demand. The BOD of water sample is 5 ppm. This means 5 milligram of oxygen is required to oxidize the organic pollutants. Organic pollutants means biodegradable pollutants in 1 liter of water sample by microorganism. Now, why the value of COD is greater than that of BOD? BOD means biochemical oxygen demand and COD means chemical oxygen demand. BOD is the amount of oxygen needed to oxidize biodegradable pollutants present in water. Where COD is the amount of oxygen needed to oxidize both bio, uh, biodegradable and non-biodegradable pollutants present in water. As COD covers both type of pollutants, so COD is higher than BOD.